So this is just my private way of starting a task model for the TV, <coughs> the TV screen quality case. And it just proposals. It would be my private solution. It's not better than yours, but I, I would like to share this because I understood your client has got a very strict vision that might not help you really to set up a task model. So I give you my solution as a way to think about it. So, Proposal for relevant tasks. Actually, I found only two relevant tasks that I would like to model. And one of them is labeled acquire presentation screen. So acquire a new television set. Sometimes we buy a new television set. In my household, we buy this every five years more or less. Maybe in your household it could be every two years or every ten years. But I would like for this task to indicate how frequent this task happens. How frequent do people buy a new television set? I do about every five years. Maybe you do every year, you do every ten years, probably not every week. Okay, so I think it's relevant to say, and then when I do, there are two things that are relevant. Apart from other things, I will certainly look at my budget and I will look at the, the color of, of the, 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 the machine in relation to the color of my household, it should fit and so on. But two are able, I shop and I consider screen quality, and then I fine tune the system for this screen quality. These are two things that I would do when I acquire a new television set. Once every five years, or once every year, once every ten years, I do these two tasks. I find out which <coughs> television sets have a nice screen quality, and I find out how to fine tune it in my home. And I do a lot of other things, like considering my budget and making sure, sure that the set matches the color of the curtains and the color of the carpet. And, and I, I look at the well, lots of things that are not relevant. But these are two tasks I think are relevant in our case. So one major task and then two subtasks, and the frequency is every so many years. Okay? So I think I would like to model it this way, because this tells me something to your client. I tell your client, Every five years, I'm concerned about screen quality. And then, another thing that we do, and I say four times a week about, four times a week about, I watch something on the screen. It could be a movie, could be the news, could be my PC screen that, that they're connecting some way to the TV screen. About four times a week, this happens. In my case, in your case, it could be two times a week, or eight times a week, or twice every day. But this is, again, relevant to find out how frequent will this happen. Because you should tell your client, we found out that, well, I think, and what will I do? Well, I will locate the movie, find out where the movie is, and sometimes I readjust the settings. But when do I readjust the settings? Only if triggered by an event. Normally, when I switch on my television set, I don't readjust the settings. Only if something special happens. For instance, I get a migraine. That could be a case, an event that would tell me, Oops, there's too much light now because I have a headache, now I will be tuning the television set. Or maybe I get a visitor and this visitor has, well, a lot of experience. Your television set could be tuned back. Now this is an event that not happens every day, right? So I'm, I, I would like to point to these frequencies for the task. It's relevant for your client to say you are bothered about things that happen twice every day or that happen only once a week or that happens only once five years. So, this is part of my way to approach the task modeling, right? I'm not saying this is the only way, but it helps me to think. And then I watch, and hopefully the, the screen quality doesn't bother me. So there are just a couple of tasks that involve screen quality, and I have some idea about the frequency of the tasks. How often does it happen? Good. So this was task modeling, one step. The next step is, well, what are relevant agents? Who is concerned, based on what I dreamed of and what I found on the website, it seems salespersons are concerned. Salespersons actually make sure the sets in their shop have a screen quality that makes the, the things sellable in the shop. So the screen is set for the <coughs> context of the shop. <coughs> and, and then we have a delivery person. And a delivery person could just bring you the box or could say, I will install it for you and make sure that the screen quality is optimal for your case. So that's another agent. Then there's an expert website, actually there's many expert websites that allow you to communicate. I showed you a website where you can ask questions and you get an answer. You get an answer. Other questions, you get an answer. 
So I know this expert website, in fact, as an agent. It's some, somebody, something that reacts, that interacts. And sometimes you can type in a question and then say, these are answers, does it help? And so on. And then there's online help in certain cases. You can really ask a question and get an e email back. And then there's this young boy who solves the problem for his grandparents, the whiskey, right? And then there's the visitor. And the visitor sometimes can ask for a better quality or can even offer to provide you with. So, and, and then there's the viewer itself, the person who doesn't care or the person who says this is too complex or the person who has got a headache. And then there could be, in future, a smart system. So a system that helps you set it up. And maybe this is what your client wants to develop. It, right? A system that helps you guide you through the steps. And then there could be a call system. You call somebody who is an expert, say, my television set is not behaving. Can you tell me what to do? Right? So I dreamed up just a set of agents that be, can, could be considered in relation to screen quality. And once you have agents, you should find out what these agents would do. In so this is the roles on the right-hand side. So th there's at least the role of explaining the settings, which could be done in the shop, or could be done in the guidelines, or could be done by a visitor. And then there's the job of installing the setting, the installing the settings. So this could be the person who delivers, or could be the whisk kid who said, I will do it for your granddad, or that's a visitor who said, can I try? And, and then the, the setting wizard, which is some type of machine that guides you to the steps, like the wizard you find on, on, the, on the website that Teresa made, that, that helps you guide to the steps. And then there could be a help desk. If Philips could install a help desk that you can call if you really could, and, and there could be help offering, so somebody could enter your house and say, can I help you? So that, that's another role. And, and offer resetting, which is different from offering help. Offering help is you ask me a question, I give the answer. Offering resetting, me, let me let me work for 10 minutes and your television set will be perfect. So it's a different role. And then viewer is, is a role, somebody who is watching and doesn't care and complain. Somebody who is watching say this really the colors are bad or the, the screen is wide screen or broad screen or, or whatever. So these are all different activities that can be performed by some of these agents. So I'm now relating roles to agents. Right? and identify all agents that could play a role in some cases and the different roles they can play. And in many cases, each role could have one or two or three agents that could take the role. And you can decide, and you can offer your client for the future to have everything done by the whisk kit or have everything done by online help or by a smart system. So this is your redesigned space in a way. Right? I continue. Relevant objects. Well, what are relevant objects here? Certainly guidelines. If there is a set of guidelines, whether printed or on the screen, or even in the head of an expert, it's an object. And, and setting buttons. There could be actually buttons on the handheld or on the screen or at the back side of the television that, that have buttons. The help side, help desk call address could be an object. And if, if people are smart, they will write it down on the post-it note and stick the post-it note on their screens, right? And, and that could be explanation on the box. If the television set is delivered at your home, there are six sides on the box. So if you print the explanation on six sides, nobody can avoid reading or at least seeing the explanation. So these are objects that I dream of. It's just a proposal, right? And then finally, I propose some events. Well, what events could happen that would trigger an activity related to settings? Well, a visitor could complain. Complain about the funny colors, complain about the, the, the broad field, and so on. Another event could, could be somebody enters your home and says, shall I do this for you? Can I help you? Migraine is, as we learned from one of your, your uh, analysis already, could be an event that triggers bothering about the system, the, the, and that the system could fail. Something, something could, could go wrong with the system, and all of a sudden the settings are lost, right? And, and there might be more, but these are just the ones I like. I spent like 10 minutes to dream up based on what I know, based on my ethnographic observations, and based on what I found on all these websites. Because that it's interesting, one of these websites actually was, was a, 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 a blog, and, and somebody had. A, I should go back to that one. Let me do that one. Um, so this is this is help me stretch non-HD channels on my widescreen TV, and then. He, he gives, the, the person gives a question, 
and, and actually within 20 minutes he got 20 answers. So you see, somebody posted a message and got a lot of answers to solve his problem. I'm here again. So system failure could, could be a way to uh, an event that, that would trigger this kind of objects to be used by a certain agent playing a certain role. Now, these are just some, some ideas I dreamed up in a couple of minutes for, on, on this. So I'm not saying this is the solution or this is better than any other, but I, I would not like to not tell you this, right? So use it or think about it and find something better or discard it and laugh about it, but I would like to give it to you. And um, 